Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be doing an unboxing of a new ring that I just got in the mail from Naomi. This is the same brand that my wedding band is from and this wedding band actually piqued a lot of interest from y'all who were interested in my engagement ring, which I have an entire video all about my engagement ring. It is a Moissanite engagement ring, but I had so many questions about this band from Naomi that I wanted to talk about my Naomi rings and then also unbox a new piece from them that I just got. I realized when I was looking on YouTube for more info about the brand, there are like no videos here on YouTube about Naomi. So I wanted to do my own and just share with you guys my thoughts on the quality, how they've held up. I've had Naomi rings since 2018. And like I said, my current like wedding band ring is a Naomi ring. so. I wanted to do an unboxing. I got in a brand new Eternity band that I'm obsessed with. If you guys want any more info on any other jewelry that I'm wearing, 99% of the jewelry that I usually will wear is Missouri. And then if it's not Missouri, it's probably Naomi. So those are the two brands that I pretty much wear all the time. I will be sure to link everything that I'm wearing or that I talk about down below in the description box as well as the videos about my engagement ring because those have really sparked a lot of interest. So all that stuff, like I said, will be done there. We're gonna go ahead and get into the unboxing. I looked online and I really didn't see any info about this brand other than their website. And so I just wanted to share kind of my personal experience with this brand. This video is not sponsored by Naomi. I will let you know though that they did send me this ring and the other pieces that I'm wearing. I do a lot of work for them in terms of like making content for them to use. So this video is not sponsored. They didn't ask me to do an unboxing or a review or talk about any of their pieces. I'm just shooting photos of this ring, sending it to them for content for their channels and stuff. But since I couldn't find anything on YouTube about their stuff, I really wanted to let you guys know about this brand because I feel like this is a pretty underrated brand as far as like engaging engagement rings or wedding bands and stuff like that go. So yeah, I just wanted to do a review. I hope you guys enjoy it. Plus a lot of y'all were asking me specifically about this wedding band. It's like one of my favorite rings. I get questions about it all the time. It's definitely a showstopper ring. And so I'll show you guys like a close up of all the pieces once I unbox this, but I figured we could start by opening up this new piece. So when you get a piece from Naomi, they will have you sign for it. This got shipped from FedEx. They make sure that you are home to sign for it because you are ordering a pretty expensive ring. Any of their jewelry is probably gonna be, you know, over $500 to, you know, a couple grand. So they really wanna make sure that you're gonna be home to receive the package. And so this one I signed for this morning from FedEx. And I really like how Naomi has a pretty quick turnaround time if they have the ring in stock. So chances are they'll have most sizes in stock. If you end up getting any sort of like custom size or randomly they have to make your ring to order, it will take two to three weeks. I think this one took about three weeks for them to make it and ship it and for it to arrive on my doorstep. So if you are wanting to get like an engagement ring or something, plan ahead. Obviously you wanna make sure you have the ring, but for the most part, I've gotten rings from them before that were in stock and you can get them like in two days. So if you want something like super quick too, chances are they'll have your size. I have pretty small fingers. So this finger is a three and a quarter, I believe. And then sometimes it's like a three and a half. And then the ring that I got today is a size five. And I think this one's just one of their more popular rings. So they actually were sold out of it in a five but typically they'll have it in stock. Like I said, they can do custom sizes all the way down to quarter sizes, I believe. They said that they could customize any size. They do engravings as well. I didn't get an engraving because I was like, this isn't for a special occasion. This is just for me to wear, but they do have that option if you are looking for a specific size, but they are super helpful with customer service. They're really responsive. I remember ordering a ring and then wanting to change my size. And I emailed them like frantically cause I was like, oh no, I just like ordered this. And they like immediately changed my order within like 24 hours. So they're really good about responding and they're super helpful. So I just pulled this out of the FedEx box. This is how this ring comes. Honestly, 
Like I said, I've been getting stuff from them since 2018 and every single time I've gotten something from them, it has been packaged a little bit differently. They switch up their like boxes and their branding pretty frequently, at least from what I've seen. But one thing that has stayed true is they always have this blue box. They've never sent like a tote bag before and I've gotten like a big blue box with this smaller blue box inside of it. So this is the first time I've gotten a tote bag, but this like blue box is pretty true to their brand. So we're gonna cut this out and everything is like pretty secure. So it's not gonna go flying around in the FedEx box. Like I said, there is a little tote bag says the name on it. And then this is the order number, order confirmation, what I got. So I got the lab grown oval cut diamond eternity band in white gold. Like I said, I got it in a size five. This specific ring actually comes in a diamond version. I got the lab diamond version just because it's cheaper. It's also, you know, better for the environment, stuff like that. So if you are looking for a more affordable option for a really blingy ring, I would highly recommend going Moissanite, which is what my engagement ring is, or going lab diamond. So like I said, I'll go over my other pieces. I have another lab diamond piece from them that is so beautiful that it stood up to time. But this is what the box looks like. So there's this nice bow on it. This is, I think just like a little card that's like, thanks for ordering. Yeah, it says, thank you. We want to empower women to enjoy a whole new level of product quality and customer experience where they can build and grow their fine jewelry collection over a lifetime. So little card with a note in it. And then I'm gonna zoom you guys in for this part because I feel like this is what you wanna see. So this is the box and you pull the tabs here take the lid off it's been a little while since I've actually opened one of these up and then the sides actually come down so they fold down like this and inside of the box you get your little dust bag pouch which has your piece of jewelry so that's such a cute little presentation I really do love their packaging in their boxes so inside of our little pouch right here I love their branding this like navy blue it's like such a staple color this has been their color for a while so it's really pretty really classy and then inside of the pouch here we've got the ring oh y'all this is so stunning hold on i just need a minute with this ring wow i was like this is so beautiful oh my gosh i was like playing it cool for a while but this is like so stunning. So let me take my other ring off so I can put it on here. So this, like I said, is called the Lab Grown Oval Cut Diamond Eternity Band. And this one is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's an eternity band. So the diamonds go all the way around. Like I said, it is a lab diamond ring. You cannot even kind of tell that it's lab diamond. Lab diamonds are such good quality. Like I said, I have another ring that is also a lab diamond and it has stood the test of time and I've worn it as a wedding band before and have had no issues with it. This is like the most beautiful. Wow, it's really more beautiful in person than I was like expecting. So that is what the ring looks like. So I'm very, very happy with this. This is so, oh, it's so stunning. I hope you guys can see it because it's just even more beautiful in person. I am obsessed. This is my David Yerman band. This ring above it is a Missouri classic dome ring. I love pairing the dome with the diamond band. This ring is what I actually had on my other pointer finger, but this one is from Naomi as well. This one is called the Three Diamonds Stacking Ring. If you guys look really closely, you can see there are three little diamonds in this ring and it's super pretty. This one is in the gold, the yellow gold. And I like to wear this one like on my pointer finger. I probably wouldn't wear it with this new ring, but this new ring is like, such an eye catcher. I cannot believe how beautiful that is. The other Naomi rings that I have, like I said, is my wedding band. This is what I've been wearing as my wedding band since the day that I got it and I've had no issues with it. I do think that it can get a little bit dirty because it sits higher up. So if you guys can see, this is my Naomi ring and it does have like a little bit of a gap to it. So it sits a little bit high up, but 
It is really, really beautiful. If you get this ring as your wedding band, make sure that your actual engagement ring sits high up because you're gonna really want it to sit flush with the ring. If it doesn't bother you, then it's not gonna really matter, but I like that my ring and my wedding band sit flush together. That's really important to me. And so they just look so good together though. I got so many questions on my engagement ring video about this Naomi wedding band and it really is so stunning. I get questions about it in real life all the time. People are always stopping me and asking me about this specific ring. And like I said, I have had no issues with it. No stones have come up. I wear it literally all the time. I don't sleep in it though because I don't sleep in any of my rings. I sleep in necklaces, bracelets. I can sleep in earrings, but I cannot sleep in rings. Something about my hand, my hands get swollen when I sleep. So I just don't like the feeling of my hands getting swollen and then having stuff on my hands. So I always take all my rings off, but I, yeah, I've had no issues with it. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so unique too. I feel like not that many people have this like princess cut halo band. I've never seen anybody with this actual like ring. So yeah, I feel like it's really, really unique if you want something really, really pretty. The other Naomi pieces that I have are this pov ring. So this one is called the three row micro pov white diamond band. I got this in white gold because typically with bands, I like to do white gold, even though my engagement ring is yellow gold, my little tip and also just what I prefer is I don't like seeing the prongs on bands. Prongs on bands, I just, I don't know. I think it just makes the diamonds a little bit duller. It, kind of turns them color wise. So typically when I'm doing a band, I go white gold. Also just because you can't really tell, like my band is white gold here, but my engagement ring is yellow gold. And from the side you can tell, but from the front you can't. But what it does is it makes the actual stones like blend in a little bit more, especially with something like this halo band. There's so many prongs in it that if they were all yellow gold, I think it would kind of just break up the design and it would just make it look a little bit more like choppy. Whereas I feel like the white gold prongs just make it look like one, like one unit, I guess is how I would describe it. But I really, really like mixing white gold bands with like yellow gold statement rings like my dome ring is a yellow gold and actually my david yerman band is a yellow gold but i got the oval eternity band in white gold again because i don't want the prongs to stick out i think it just makes the diamonds more bright and sparkly and i just i just like it a little bit more so that's just my little tip obviously if you like one metal go the metal of your preference this three row micro paw ring is in white gold. It's this really, really pretty ring. Honestly, I should have taken advantage of the custom size. I think it's a little bit too big. So I don't honestly wear this one all that much just because it doesn't sit snug on my finger and I'm always a little bit worried about losing it, but I should probably just wear it more often. It's really, really beautiful, super sparkly. And that's a good like fun stacking ring as well to pair it up with some other stuff. The last ring that I have is the lab grown half band diamond ring. This is actually the first ring that I ever got from Naomi. And like I said, it's held up super well. It actually, I got it because it kind of mimics my David Yerman ring and I wanted to wear a band on either side of my engagement ring as like a stack. So I got this one to pair on the other side of my engagement ring and it's so pretty. Like I said, it is lab diamond. These are the two next to each other. The bottom one is the David Yerman, which is a little bit larger diamond size. So you can tell this one's a little bit smaller, but as far as like the quality goes, you can't really tell. I just really liked the look of having a band on either side of my engagement ring. I just really like stacking up a bunch of different ways, but that is my unboxing and review of this new little oval ring. It is just the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I love it so, so much. And I hope this like unboxing and review is helpful. If you've ever 
seen the brand, seen an ad about the brand, you've probably seen like some ads, they run a ton of ads and that's what I make content for. So you might've even seen one of my photos or one of my videos for them. But that is kind of my experience with the brand. Like I said, they gifted me these rings. So definitely keep that in mind. However, Knowing the quality now, I would confidently buy one of these because all the rings that I have from them, which is quite a few now, I've had zero problems with. Customer service was great. Very, very timely as far as like if it's in stock. And I, I have no complaints for the brand. I feel like it's kind of an underrated brand. Not a lot of people know about it. Whenever I tell them about my like wedding band ring, people are like, oh, I've never heard of that brand before. So I just wanted to, I don't know, shed some light on the brand and just show you guys what it looks like when one of their rings comes to your doorstep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If you are new to my channel and you liked this review and you wanna see more jewelry hauls or reviews. I do a ton of stuff with Missouri as well. So if you're ever interested in any of their products, I have tons of videos for them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye y'all.